What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft PlayStation 4 Edition. In this episode we're going to be getting our baked potatoes and we'll be going on a wonderful adventure um, in a new area basically. Um, I've told you guys that we have gone all over the place this way and that way and we even started our adventure in our spawn point over there but one way we didn't go is seabound. Yeah, me matey. We have never gone out into the ocean and I feel like this episode is just finally the perfect time to do it. So I need to hunt down my map, we need to make a boat, and we even need to give our cows a little bit of a goodbye wheat giving. <laughs> so we'll be all doing that and more. Alrighty then, so I found my map. I'm gonna go in here and try to find where the boat would be. Um, I think it would be off, yep, over here. Thank you so much for that, sir. And now I'll be able to put, um, this is this wood wherever it fits, I guess. I mean, one of these days, I just gotta wake up in the morning and be like, you know what, I gotta reorganize my Minecraft inventory, but today is not that day, because we have a lot of more exciting things to do as our baked potatoes cook. We need to go over on here and feed the cows some of their wonderful, look at them climbing on top of each other, trying like to form some type of getaway. Yeah, you all, you all just get your goods here. And <laughs> get your yummy, yummy wheat. Yummy, yummy wheat, everybody eat. <laughs> okay, then I think I'm getting everybody here. Um, just about, and hopefully they make some nice cow babies, who knows though. Oh man, they're still going crazy for me. They're like, Zebra, I love you, you're my favorite video maker. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're having a glitch party. I'm out of here, I don't wanna see any more of this. But now that we have the boat, and we have a lot of food, and we have a lot of other stuff too, well I think now is just a great time to go out and adventure, and hopefully it turns out okay. Cause it's like, look at all this map space we have left. There has to be something fantastic out in this ocean, and I cannot wait to see what it is. So, without further ado, let's continue on and find out. To the ocean we go, and this is the farthest we've made it out. This will be the farthest part of the land, right here at this peak. And I'm quite nervous to see what we might find out. And it's like we might not find anything. And that'll be the disappointing and boring part. But I already see something. So you know, yo ho, yo ho, the pirate sci-fi go. Oh no, 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 the pirate, I don't like the pirate slave. Oh man, man overboard, man. <laughs> what have I done? What button did I press to do that? Is that a mushroom island? Oh cool, that's really awesome. I've never found a mushroom island on my own before. So let's go back to the pirate life for me. Oh yay. This time I know how to ride the boat. Okay then, so we have a mushroom island over here. This is really cool, because the only other time I've ever found a mushroom island in Minecraft was our sneaky stripes with um stealth. So it would be cool that I found one on my own, and I can have my own bragging rights. Hooray, so I wonder what cool things we'll find on this. Now, I think that no monsters spawn here, so we don't have to be worried about dying or anything like that. Let's try to slow down our boat a little bit. Come on, boat. Come on, boat, no, boat, don't do it, don't do it, no. oh, 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 I'm okay. Oh, oh, don't get stuck in the boat, though. You stay there, boat. I'm gonna go and see what we can find on this wonderful, wonderful little um, island, I guess you could say. <laughs> yeah, it is an island. So I don't know what, what's with my confusion of what it could be. Um, oh, look at that, a little remote island there. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Thought it was, and then it just, it fooled me. That's an April Fool's joke in March, a little early. So we have a lot of these little mushroom things, but what I'm not seeing is a mushroom cow. They do exist, and they do live on these islands, typically, but I do not see one. I don't really know the use of them, so I don't really know what I'd do with one if I found one. I've heard that killing it is not a good idea, though. Let me break this and see what I get. It looks like I just got a, a mushroom. That's all I got from that. Hmm. Okay, so there really isn't too much for me to do here, is there? Without the mushroom cow, that's sort of the big the big um, appeal, right? Hmm. Alrighty then, so I'm going to dig up some of this dirt. Is this normal dirt then? Hmm, yeah, this is also normal dirt. Okay then, so really there isn't too much for us to do here from the looks. Um, I can try breaking this with a pick and I still don't get anything. Okay then, so with that being said, I don't think there's really anything we really need here. So let's get back in our boat, which is luckily still there, didn't try to make a breakthrough on us, <laughs> run away, um, and let's go off this way. Away we go, back into the ocean. Let's hopefully not run into any commotion. And there's, it's, you know, like a normal island off this way. It's still really cool that there was, there was a whole mushroom island that I didn't know about just beyond the horizon, just beyond the visual line of what this Minecraft version allows, and another jungle. Jungles are always scary, but also really awesome. I still haven't found a jungle temple in Minecraft, and wow, those trees go very high. So maybe now is our opportunity to do that. 
Um, wow, this is a very big jungle too. Man, we're just, we're in unknown territory. It's also scary, but also interesting. We are, oh, why, why did the map just sort of give up there? That's interesting. I don't understand why I did that. Hmm. This didn't chart our progress for most of it. Of course, I know where I'm going, so it's not a big deal. But, hmm, maybe if I don't have the map out, it doesn't record my progress? Oh no, the boat! I wasn't paying it. this is why you shouldn't text and drive and why you shouldn't read maps and drive. Kids at home and learn that you don't do that while driving. Okay then, but we're at our destination though, so it's, it's not a bad thing for us. Um, so let's um try to sort of walk around the jungle for a little bit, see if we can't find a wonderful jungle temple. I mean, I'm just happy we found a mushroom island just because I want to see new things. Even if like maybe we didn't benefit from it, we didn't get anything cool from it. We got one mushroom. It's our novelty mushroom. But <laughs> um, we didn't get anything super duper cool from it. That's okay though, because you know what? We still had a good time and we still saw something new. So that's awesome. So let's climb up here. Hmm. And this big jungle is ahead of us, guys, so I don't know what we're gonna do, what we're gonna find, but we're gonna adventure until we find something cool. I do not have a fishing rod to get another fish for the cat. Uh, that's okay, though, because I don't know. I'm not really looking to get a cat right now. They're sort of annoying to get. Hmm, what is over there? I guess there was a weird lighting glitch over there by the tree. Hmm. This is a big jungle, though. It's already getting nighttime already, which is the scary part. So maybe we should make some refugees, or make a refuge in caves. But I don't know, I feel like I feel like manning it out today. I feel like just making our way through, and hopefully we don't run into any major creepers or anything like that. But, uh, ooh, I think I heard an Enderman. I'm just gonna keep walking and act like I didn't. Hmm, so there, whoa. Oh, oh my. Okay, I guess there was some glitches going on with the, the trees. That's creeping me out. We got some evil haunted trees around in this jungle. You don't want to be here for long. With that being said, though, if it's becoming nighttime, we might want to stake out the night on a mountain opposed to a jungle. Just because that's a lot safer, you know, we know what's going on. Like, we can't really see anything in the jungle until it's right in front of us, or worse, right behind us. So, we don't want that. So, I'm going to go until, like, the top of this mountain. It'll give us a good um, opportunity to scope out the area, too. So, it's a win-win situation, in my opinion. So, let's go on to the top of this mountain and see what we can find. On the way up, <laughs> it's really cool adventuring in this game because you find new things that nobody else in the world has found unless you're using a seed that you've watched somebody else play, I guess. But besides that, if you start a new seed, it's case of, chances are you're, you're exploring things nobody else has ever explored before. You can be the world's first adventurer and it's so cool. I love it so much. And it's like, that's the kind of stuff it's like I think about the world today. It's like, man, no matter where I go on planet Earth, somebody else has been there. It's, it's sort of lame, unless I go to the center of the Earth, but I don't want to go there. I think I'm going to die if I do that. Maybe my maybe my zebra stripes will save me, but I don't want to test it out. Not today. I'm not feeling that confident. But, um... Let's go up the mountain. And I just, I, I love adventuring. Minecraft is such a good game for that too. So let's make the jump. Oh, or not, not at all. Um, and this, dig our way up this mountain. I do not think there's any enemies behind us at this current moment in time. So now's a good time to do it. And we just gotta make our way up, up, up. So you guys have been suggesting a lot of Minecraft PC servers for me because I have been looking for them. And I wanna say thank you guys for your suggestions. I haven't had the time to look at them in depth at this very moment in time, but soon I will get the chance to. All right, now that we have a lot of dirt, I can do this. Um, is there any dirt overheads? There is not, but I, there is the gurgles of a zombie. So hopefully nobody knocks me down the moment I get up here. So let's just try this out, and then there we go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, pressing all the buttons. And none of them are the right buttons. Uh, hey buddy. You were going down, I don't like you. Uh, 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 wait, uh, come on, come on, come on, yeah! All right, now you, don't just dead shot me here. Come on, dead, dead on, he's really good at that. <laughs> gotcha, okay, and oh, he dropped the bow! Good, that's a pretty nice drop. I mean, that's not common that they drop something like that. It didn't have the highest durability in the world, but it was still pretty cool, and we got a bunch of pumpkins and even a creeper chilling on top of one. Hey, look, it's a full golden zombie. All right, let's get him up here, and hopefully he'll, he'll duke us out up here, and hopefully he drops some really rare stuff. I'm not sure, though. Um, Come on, buddy. You want to duke it out? I'm challenging you. Take me on. One-on-one. -on -one. Who's gonna win the zebra or the golden zombie? Zebra wins. Whoa, we did get something, but we're getting attacked by a spider. Stop that. Stop that right now, sir. That's very rude to attack me while I was one-on-one -on -one challenging somebody. You have no respect for the challenge. And, hmm, okay then. So we found some pretty cool stuff. We got <laughs> a bow and arrow. We got the um, golden hat, the golden armor. Pretty cool stuff so far. Pretty cool indeed. Um, 
I know that, I don't know, I know that gold, um, what's it called? Weapons and tools and stuff aren't the best sometimes. Ah, oh, the stinker. Oh, skeletons are by far the hardest thing to kill, in my opinion. I mean, they aren't the, like, worst enemy. I think that spiders take that throne just because they're creepy and they're creepy crawly, that kind of stuff. But what was I going to say? Um, uh, the weapons and tools that are golden usually seem to be, like, they work really well, but their durability is really low. But I don't know if that's the same for armor. So feel free to let me know. Is armor that's golden, is that any good? Or is that not worth bothering with? Hmm. I'm not really sure myself, but all I know is that I gotta survive this night, and we aren't really that far into it. Especially since I can't even see the stinking moon. Oh man, I don't even know how far we are into this night then. What if I just keep on running around here? And I didn't even bring any torches. I don't know what was happening in my zebra noggin. I didn't think it was a good idea to bring torches, but I didn't. So now we're stuck here without torches. I mean, I know basically where I am. We're down on the bottom left there. You can see us sort of turning around. So it shouldn't be that hard to find our way home. I think if I, you know, just pay attention, keep my general consensus going, I will be okay. But, hmm. I just need to find the way to burn the time so that we can go back out into the jungle and kill off any enemies that may be in our way. And then find a jungle temple, because that's what I really, really want to find. And it's becoming morning again as the moon slowly falls. I've just sort of been running around on this mountain, and not many enemies have spawned because of that. Um, I did see a little villager zombie around here. I don't think they drop anything special outside of the, you know, the original zombies, though. So, I'm not really, you know, begging to kill them or nothing. So, that's no big deal. But now that it's becoming daytime again, I will wait around a little bit longer to see if I can't wait for some of these guys to burn on down once the sun fully comes up and they really feel the wrath of the sun, the power. <laughs> of the sunlight and the, the the rays it gives off. And are they feeling it yet? Not yet. Soon though, soon this man right here, this once man, now undead, will feel the wrath of flames. And it won't be playing no games. <laughs> what am I even talking about? I don't even know, but I'm waiting for him to disrupt, and he just won't. And the skeleton too. Both of those used to be people. Neither of them are now. <laughs> That's weird to think about. Come on now, any moment. Oh, there he goes. There he goes, and there goes a skeleton. Okay, good, good, good. Now it is time to slowly but surely sneak down this mountain and start adventuring this jungle, the very, very large jungle, I may add. So it's gonna be a little difficult to do anything with, but we will. We will succeed, hopefully, in finding a jungle temple. Big goal of mine to do, just because I think it would be really fun. Um, I know that they sometimes have hidden treasures that you sort of have to dig around for, and I'm totally willing to do that. Because I did bring the right tools. If I die this far out, though, chances are I will not be able to get my stuff back. So it will be something I have to be super duper cautious in. But I'm ready for the challenge. I'm ready for the task. So let's go and find ourselves a jungle temple. Let's go and jump in the water. <laughs> so I just figured we just need to run through and look around and keep our eyes keen like we're Tarzan or something until we find something cool or desirable to uh, adventure. Wow, this jungle is so huge, it even has like a little lake. Wow, it's like a little oasis within here. Oh man, this is the coolest until I fall and break my ankles. Um, that one would be very cool, but I see some really high trees way off in the distance over there and stuff. I don't know why, but I always wanna make my way to the tallest tree. Maybe it's just, maybe it's an indication that there's great things over there. Maybe the tree's growing on top of the jungle temple. But either way, let's make our way over there and see what cool things we can find. I mean, I'm feeling pretty high on our luck right now. We found a mushroom. Island, I can't want to call it Mushroom Village. Do they have those? They should totally have those. Oh gosh, no, don't let me sink. Oh man, pressing all the wrong buttons, but um, yeah, they should totally have Mushroom Villages. Not only that, but we also found some gold. We had the bow and arrow drop too. Some cool stuff, so hopefully our luck continues and we can find this jungle temple. Um, but first of all, we need to make our way over there. Like, look at how tall those trees are. So stinking cool. I don't know why. I just think it's really awesome seeing, like, major stuff in the distance. It always gets me so excited. There's just so much jungle to explore. It's so hard to find anything. Oh, man. So, hopefully we find something. Uh, just gotta keep running around, really, and just hope that our luck starts turning up. I, I mean, I've been walking around for a good few good minutes here, and I haven't seen really too much of interest. You know, just trees and more trees, and then trees on top of those trees. Um, I, I mean, here's a cow and a gray sheep. Hmm, 
Hopefully my luck doesn't run out where it was though, because I really, really want to find this jungle temple, just so it's on our list of things we've done, our Minecraft the bucket list. And I feel like our best shot is to go either on that tree or that tree, so let's do that. Um, I guess the best way to go over there is to jump into the water, up, oh, sploosh. <laughs> Okay, oh no, I always press that button by accident, I don't know how, but um, I'm gonna get up here and eat a bit, and man, it's just, I feel like an adventure this episode, and it's a great feeling. I've been missing this, just going on an adventure in a game, I guess. And that's, and that's a good thing, you know, I mean, it's a good thing that I'm doing it now, at least. So let's keep on going up, and I'll try to get my way to the top of one of those trees. We're pretty high up here at this point, not the highest point. Floor pretty high. Um, it's hard to see anything really at this distance though, because you got some of the darker floral kind of stuff, and it's like it can sort of look like stone from far away. And I think the jungle temples are made out of stone, so that's gonna be the hard part here. But oh uh, man, it's sooner or later we gotta find it. We gotta find something, something good, something delectable, something tasty. All right then, I think that we're a little low in our luck right now. We're trying to find some stuff, but we're just not really succeeding in finding this jungle temple. At this point, I have emerged basically on the other side of this gigantic jungle. With no luck, maybe we can make our way through on the next episode again and see maybe if it's there. If you have any tips for finding a jungle temple that you would like to let me know, feel free to drop me a line in the comment section below. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. And really leave a like on the video if you enjoyed and share it with your family and friends because the support truly does help. And like I said, leave a comment in the comments section below if you have any tips or tricks for me, it would be super duper appreciated. Maybe I should just burn the whole jungle down. Wahaha! Okay, maybe I won't do that. I would thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!